Yo, what's up guys? It's Cody Orla back today with another YouTube video and today we are going to be pranking my girlfriend Zoe Laverne. So basically, Zoe knows and you guys know now since I posted on Instagram, there was a post right here that I was telling you guys about that my half of my family moved to Arizona and that I was missing my mom and I was missing my sister. So they're not here anymore, so the house is a little bit quiet and no one's kind of really here. So basically, I'm going to be telling Zoe that I'm going to be moving to Arizona with the rest of my family and Zoe's obviously gonna be sad because now she's farther away and now it's not drivable now I'm gonna have to be taking flights because right now I'm, I'm about a five hour drive from my house to Zoe's house now it's gonna be a lot longer like a 15 to 20 hour drive if I do drive so Zoe's gonna be really upset about this and I don't want to make her sad or anything but I wanted to see how she would react in this certain situation so I hope you guys do enjoy the video make sure you guys do like and subscribe it would mean the world to me we got verified on YouTube and Zoe isn't here to say thank you to you guys for all the support but she will be here at the end or towards the middle and she would th say thank you as well but thank you guys so much for helping us getting verified I really really do appreciate it and we're on the road to a million subscribers next step is 900,000 the next step is 1 million so thank you guys so much yo and I'll we'll see you guys when the video starts and hope you guys do enjoy the prank peace out so I'm about to text Zoe right now I'm telling her that I'm like thinking about moving or that I'm going to and I'm gonna get her reaction she's probably gonna like FaceTime me after I text her but um, if you guys are wondering where I am I'm in my sister's room um, this is where she used to live or still does I don't know um, and you guys can see her whole room is packed up so I'm about to text Zoe and I'm gonna scoot over here so that you guys can see the screen recording. All right, here we go. All right, I'm just gonna tell her that like, I'm thinking about it and not that I'm going to, but I'm gonna say like my mom asked me to, okay? My mom asked me if I wanted to move down to Arizona and I'm thinking about it. I don't know what to do though. I'm not sure if I'm moving. 100% but I might and send so guys she's gonna be really upset so when you guys see her sad or if you guys see her like yelling not like on FaceTime but like like on caps like I guess I would be that way too like like your boyfriend or your girlfriend would be moving away farther because means they're a long distance we're already five hours driving wise so um I'll be back to you guys when she responds, so wish me luck. Alright guys, after like 20 minutes, she finally responded. I haven't opened the text yet, so I'm going to screen record really quick and read it to you. I said, you're kidding, right? That's farther away from me. Okay, so I said, no, I'm not kidding. My whole family wants to move there. And she said, so you're going to leave me? I said, I know it's farther, but I'm going to have nowhere to go. And she said, Cody, how are you expecting us to be together if you leave? And I said, I can fly out to you. You know, just trying to make you up an excuse. And I get that, so that long distance is hard. So I get where she's coming from. And then she said, I'll never see you. No, it'll go from seeing each other on almost every week in two months. Turn your right on, then I turned it on. And then I said, that's not true. And she said, it is true. You can drive to me. And if you move, you can't. I sent a frowny face and she said, you're almost 18, why can't we move in together? And I said, I don't know what to do. She said, why do you have to move? That's gonna hurt me so much. I wanna say, I just feel like it'd be, it'd be better for me and my family. And then when I turn, turn 18, we can move in together. I, I, I'm surprised she's not acting as frustrated as I thought or sad as I thought. She's actually taking it pretty well. I thought she was going to take it way worse. But I mean, it's only been three minutes into it. So I don't know. But she literally didn't respond for so long. It was freaking me out. I sent the first text at 8.33 p.m. And she responded at 8.47. Oh, so 14, 15 minutes. But she said it's not going to be better for us. I'm gonna say maybe it'll help us realize that we need each other more. Especially everything that we went through. She's like, I'll come so done with everything. See, now she's gonna start getting upset. Now, now I'm gonna feel bad. I'm gonna give it about three minutes with not answering, and then I'm 
gonna call her and tell her that it's a prank. So I'll see you guys back in about three minutes. I will see you guys when I call her and I'm gonna tell her it's a prank. And yeah, peace out. Zoe. Zoe, look at me. Show your face. Zoe. I will lose you. Babe, you won't. Wanna know why? Wanna know why? Zoe, Zoe. Zoe, don't cry. Wanna know why? Zoe, Zoe, look at me. Are you looking? Zoe, I'm so sorry, but it's it's a it was just a prank, Zoe. Zoe, it was just a prank. It was a prank for our YouTube channel. No, you wouldn't lose me, Zoe. It's a prank. I'm sorry. I know. I just thought of the idea since my family moved. Zoe, give me a hug. Give me a virtual hug. I can't hug. give you a hug. Well, you can give me a virtual one. If I give you a virtual kiss, would that make it feel better? Will it? I'm sorry, I know. I'm so mean. I know, I'm sorry. I just thought it'd be... I don't know, I want to see how you would react if Petro Joe was moving. Guys, don't hate me. It was just a prank, and I just wanted to see how she would react. I was, I was gonna keep going, but you were getting super upset. I was gonna ask, I was like, what if you move in with me in, to Arizona? But I wasn't gonna keep it going. Can you show your face so everyone know you're okay? I'm sorry. Do you forgive me? Are you happy that I was a prank? I don't know what would make you cry. Me, shall we? But now, since I did this prank, I'll see you soon, okay? I don't want you to be sad. Say hi. Say hi. You want you want to say anything to them? I'm just happy it was a prank. I know, I know. I'm really hot, so. You know I want to move. <coughs> I love you. I'm gonna end the video now guys so I, I'm gonna talk to her and make her feel better since I kind of made her cry I'm a bad boyfriend now Definitely not You're the best boyfriend ever Am I? Yes Am I? I am <laughs> Well, shall we still Alright, let's do our outro and you, you do the outro, Zoe. You have the honors. Repeat after me. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll be happy if I'm you do. I'll be happy if you do. Because even though Cody was in meanie pants, because even though Cody was an asshole. <laughs> I still forgive him. I still forgive him. As long as you subscribe. As long as you subscribe and leave a like. Yeah, and comment. Uh -huh. Alright, well. I love you guys. Peace out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're on our way to 1 million subscribers. We're posting... We posted three times this week, so... Yeah, uh, we'll keep it up as long as you guys keep watching our videos. So thank you guys. And yeah, Zodi out. Bye. Say bye, Zoe. Bye. You sound so sad. I am. I thought you were actually moving away from me. 
Well, well, at least tell them you're okay. I'm okay. Are you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On a scale, on a scale of one through ten, how okay are you? I'm an eight. I'm an eight. Okay, I'll take that. We'll take that, guys. All right, peace out, dudes. Zodi out. Say bye. Bye. Alright guys, Zoe wanna say something before I end the video. I'm not mad at Cody anymore. I'm just happy it was a prank. Anything else? And I love you guys. And I love Cody. I love you too.